Hello, boys and girls, and welcome to 5-Minute Bedtime Stories with Miss Elaine. Tonight, I'd like to share with you what could be considered a holiday book, but I also think it's great to read any time throughout the year. It's called Always Everly, and I'd like to dedicate it to my friend Alexis, who I know used to read this with Mrs. O'Grady in Mrs. O'Grady's class. It's by Nate Rag, and I hope you all enjoy it. It was spring when a small tree sprouted up at the edge of the woods. Do you see it right here? A new tree. And her name was Everly. Even though she was new, she quickly made friends. Hi, 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 hi. Ruff. And she fit in perfectly. All these happy little trees, huh? They look like a friendly bunch, for sure. Until one day, everyone began to change. Everyone except for Everly. She hoped no one noticed. But they did. Everly's friends looked so beautiful so colorful. As for Everly, she just looked different. And now the trees are concerned for her too, right? It must be autumn time, so their leaves are starting to change. But Everly is still green. So her friends are concerned and they say, are you feeling okay, Everly? Hmm. She felt different too. And she wished she could look like everyone else. Look, they're all sleeping and she's still awake because I think she's a little worried, a little concerned, and probably feeling left out. One morning it seemed her wish had come true. Perfect! Unfortunately, it was just a false alarm. Her leaves didn't really change color. What happened? Yeah, there were just a bunch of birds, colorful birds, who landed on her branches. But when they flew away, she was back to being all green, just green. She did what she could to blend in. Perfect! But that really didn't work either. Everly tried everything she could think of. Perhaps a little extra sun would help. Ah. Uh, or a little shade. Would extra watering do the trick? Gargle, gargle. No, nothing worked. Everyone had run out of ideas. But we still love you, Everly. Mm, look how sad. It's not fair. Everyone keeps changing. But not me. I just wish I could be like all of you. But not changing it what makes you so special said one tree. You're always Everly. You make this forest colorful and beautiful all year round. Yeah, without you, winter would be so gray. And another tree says, you're perfect just the way you are. Do you think that's making Everly feel better? Yeah, I think that's all we need, right? Her friends are understanding and encouraging her and still accepting her for who she is. It doesn't matter what she looks like or that her leaves aren't changing the way theirs are, right? She's smiling, so I think she is feeling better. And she's getting a big hug. Everly realized that being different was a good thing. She was so overjoyed, she began to glow. 
Look how bright and beautiful now. She began to glow in her own perfect way. Now she's a Christmas tree, right? Yes. The end. And I think that's such an important message, boys and girls, for us to be who we are. We are all different, and that's what makes us so very unique, so very special, just as Everly discovered in tonight's story. Well, I hope you enjoyed that book as much as I did. Thank you again, Alexis, for the wonderful recommendation. It's time to sing our lullabies now. So we're going to start with Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star, followed by God Bless the Moon. If you made one of these sticks at home, go ahead and pull it out. And if you didn't, we could always sign the words as we sing. This is how we say twinkle, remember? And this is how we say star. You just point up to the sky. This is wonder and world and diamond. Point to your ring finger. Here we go. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Very good, and we have signs for our moon lullaby as well. If you take a C shape, you point your finger and your thumb and you kind of make a C shape, right? Like a crescent moon. And you kind of point that up to the sky. That's the sign for moon. And for God bless, we're gonna make a cross in the air. I see the moon and the moon sees me. God bless the moon and God bless me. And God bless you boys and girls at home. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again real soon on 5-Minute Bedtime Stories with Missy Lane. Good night.